Greetings movie fans, this is Joe at the Movies, and tonight we will be reviewing The Devil All the Time. The Devil All the Time is a Netflix movie that came out earlier this year, directed by Antonio Campos and written by Antonio and Paolo Campos. I've never heard of either one of these guys, but I just want to say up front, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie, so they did a good job, so kudos to them. Uh, it also stars Tom Holland, who you may know as Spider-Man, Bill Skarsgård, who played Pennywise in the recent It movies, Jason Clark, Sebastian, St Sebastian Stan, uh, another Marvel alumni, you may know him as the Winter Soldier, and Robert Pattinson, who made his name with the Twilight movies. Don't judge him on that because he is actually a really good actor. Um... The movie kind of connects to this area. It's set between uh, two small towns in northern West Virginia and southern Ohio, so just north of us in eastern Kentucky. And uh, so, obviously, it's set in the 1940, end of the 1940s through the mid-1960s with some time jumps, and their religion plays a, a big theme in the movie. So... I want to go ahead and do my religion and politics disclaimer for the channel up front. This channel is not to be used for the comments to discuss politics or religion unless it pertains to the movie or show we're talking about directly. And any comments regarding politics and religion, keep them civil and, and polite. Uh, there's too much hate on the internet and people take politics and religion very personally, as they should. And I just don't want to see any more hate on the internet, not on my channel. So I would appreciate everyone respecting my view on that. So uh, this movie, it's uh, about a family, about a boy, uh, his life growing up in this area of Appalachia and meeting some very bad people. Um, this is a movie about not a wolf in sheep's clothing, clothing but wolves in sheep's clothing. Uh and our main character, played by Tom Holland, he is he's a good man trying to be a good man who has a lot of anger and rage built up inside him over the years through experiences with his own father and experiences growing up in a small town and being a little bit awkward, as many of us can probably relate to around here. Uh, but he loves his family and he will do anything to protect them. And I can kind of relate to that being the mama's boy that I am. Uh, this movie kind of has a Quentin Tarantino slash Coen brothers type feel, but not as extreme as either one. Uh, you meet all these various wild, dark, sadistic characters and events converge where different characters cross paths and, uh, some wild things happen. I'm not going to go too deep in spoilers in this review because I want everyone to watch this movie that might be interested. I will warn you, it is rated R. It is dark. It is gruesome at times. It is morbid. It uh, Not for children in the least bit. Please don't let your kids watch this. Uh, and if you see me looking off to the side, it's because I took notes and I'm having to refer to my notes. Um... The movie is based on a book written of the same title written by David uh, Donald Ray Pollock, who also narrated the movie. And I got to say, that was one of the highlights of the movie was the narration. I like a good movie with a good narration, if it serves the purpose. And this is one of those times where the narrator it, it serves the purpose. He, he kind of drives the story uh, for the main character you know, with his tales of motivations and stuff. It's a, from a third-person perspective. Um, it, it feels a little bit like Natural Born Killers or California, if you've seen that with Brad Pitt and David Duchovny from the 90s. But again, nowhere near as extreme as those movies. It's, uh, it's I wouldn't call it torture porn or anything like that. It's... Uh, not really a serial killer movie. It's just a, a movie about a convergence of events that lead to some bad outcomes for some people. And uh, I thought it was very entertaining. The acting was very well done. Tom Holland, he's a British guy. Uh, I didn't know he was British when he was cast as Spider-Man because he sounds like he's from Queens, New York. Uh, it was only through interviews on press junkets where I realized that this kid is British. 
I thought he did a pretty good Appalachian accent as well, so I'm expecting big things out of Tom Holland. Uh, Robert Pattinson also uh, did very well with his uh, accent, I thought. Uh, I think his character was from Tennessee, I believe, uh, so it's a slightly different accent from this area. Uh, but again, very well done. All the all the actors did phenomenal jobs. Uh, the acting is spectacular, uh, and especially given the slim pickings of this year with movies, I expect I expect this movie to get some award recognition, whether it be nominations or actual awards. Uh, I would not be upset to see Tom Holland get a Best Picture uh, Oscar for this movie at all. Uh, probably won't. Probably will get a nomination, but uh, I would not be upset if he got the win because it was that good. So uh, I urge all of you to check out The Devil All the Time um, on Netflix. And uh, please hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, ask a question. Uh, I'll put up a post later for spoilers if anybody wants to talk in depth about the movie. If you don't, that's fine. Uh, but please, in the comments for this review, don't give away any spoilers if you've already seen the movie. And uh, any suggestions or critiques are always welcome. Just uh, be nice with it. We need a little more niceness on the internet. Uh, thank you guys, and this is Joe, and I will see you at the movies.